It feels like just yesterday when we finally made the upgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 10. No oh, man, remember Windows 8? When Microsoft was like, everybody's going to throw out their keyboards and we're just going to use the touch screens that are also our laptop screens. Yeah, fun times. Anyway, Windows 10 end of life is just around the corner. October 14th, 2025. Does this mean that your Windows 10 PC is just going to self-destruct and be completely inoperable, destroying all your important data past that date? No, it's probably going to work exactly the same as it has up until that point. However, it will stop receiving updates to its operating system past the 14th. And when I say no more updates, I specifically mean one, no more security updates, which is the big one. It puts your PC and your data at risk. Two, no non-security updates, which means that there won't be any new bug fixes or performance enhancements. And finally, there will be no Microsoft Live support. So if you go to Microsoft and you ask about Windows 10, you won't get an answer unless it has already been answered on their blogs or their forums. So um, that sucks, but you do have a few options. The first of which is absolutely nothing, just doing nothing. This could be viable for a select few of you. Now, as a computer company, we can't really recommend this because if you are using your Windows 10 PC to connect to the internet, you are putting all of your data at risk. The reason being is that after that end of life date, any nefarious individual on the other end of the internet can cook up a virus that can cut through Windows Firewall, Windows Defender. Unfortunately, because there won't be any new Windows security updates to Windows 10, that means that that virus can just essentially run rampant and there will never be a patch to catch it. So that's pretty scary, but if you're not connecting to the internet with your Windows 10 PC, say it's used to run a local system or something like a printer, then there's really no need to be worried about this end of life date. For the vast majority of you who are using your PC to connect to the internet, we really recommend updating to Windows 11. Now, back it up. I know what you're thinking. You can, first of all, move the taskbar to the left. You can move it to the left. I'll do it on screen right now. It wasn't that so easy. It was really easy, wasn't it? Anyway, um, two, yes, the right-click menu is really kind of confusing, but you'll get... And finally, this is the big one. It's free if you have Windows 10. Now, that doesn't mean it's a perfect solution for everybody. There are strict CPU requirements that Microsoft has for Windows 11. And if you don't have a new enough CPU for Windows 11, you just, you just can't upgrade to it. Now, Windows 10 does come included with a Windows 11 upgrade checker, so we recommend you go there first. There is also a posted list of requirements by Microsoft that you need to upgrade to Windows 11. And if for whatever reason your PC says, oh, I can't upgrade, but Microsoft says, yeah, well, you should be able to. It might be your TPM settings. You need to be on TPM 2.0, and that's something you can edit in your BIOS. There is an article posted by Microsoft to go through and check your TPM settings, and uh, there will almost certainly be a tutorial for your particular motherboard. So check that out if you feel like you can upgrade, but your PC disagrees with you. You do have a couple more options. One is the extended security updates program from Microsoft that will give you critical security updates for the next year, but only for the next year. And that'll be $30, but it's more or less just kicking the can down the road. Finally, it's annoying, but if you can't make that upgrade to Windows 11 and you don't wanna pay those $30, you should really put a new PC on your radar. Yes, that is a pretty penny, but it's probably what is best for your data at this point. Um, we can hook you up. If you are looking for a new PC, uh, be it a huge gaming rig or a workstation PC, uh, our phone number and our website are on screen right now. We can tailor make a PC exactly to fit your needs, no more, no less. That's everything for me for today. This has been Marcus with Velocity Micro. If you like this kind of content, please consider commenting, liking, subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.